Hey, Hustas, how y'all doing today? Happy Sunday, y'all. Do y'all want to cook some um, spaghetti with me? I was thinking about it. I was like, why not? Let's do it. We are already in the kitchen and everything is already cut up. So y'all know I love sausages in my meat sauce. So let's do it. First of all, honey, y'all remember the other day I showed y'all this um, uh, pasta herb blend that I got from Marshall's. I'm going to add that in my spaghetti water. Uh, when I bought it, I'm going to tell you, it sticks to the spaghetti and it gives it a good taste. And y'all know I have a whole lot of seasonings, y'all. Look down here. Look at all them seasonings. Look at this. is all these I'm going to be using today. In the sauce, that is. So let's get ready. Um, I've already have my seasonings cut up. Can y'all see it over here? Here, I have one medium onion. I have three uh, cloves, uh, cloves of garlic. I have one medium bell pepper, two bay leaves, and some celery. All of this will be going in my meat sauce. Okay? All right. And I will go over the seasonings as I add it in this pot. So we're going to put this on medium uh, high and uh, we will add one pound and I love Angus beef 80 20 I love it y'all so we're gonna go ahead and we will add this uh, in this pot we're gonna grab a spoon because we want that cut up We're going to get this meat um, kind of broken apart in here because we're going to add the sausages because we I like to cook them both together. Sometimes I like to get the Angus 90-10, I think. It has just a little oil and, and then once I get it all brown, I really don't have to drain it from the grease but with the 80 20 y'all know we, we will have to uh, uh drain that grease off some people i see they just let it cook and then after it's done they skim the grease off i don't want the grease cooking in my food y'all all right so as y'all see i have uh broken the ground beef up I've already cut up my sausages. I like them to be in pieces. I cut them in a circle and then in four pieces because I don't want huge pieces of sausages in my meat sauce. And this is Cabosa sausages, y'all. So we're going to add them in there with the ground meat. And we're going to get this good and brown. And then once it starts to get brown, we will go ahead and add in uh, our seasonings, uh, the dry and the veggies at that time, y'all. So let's get that going. And once it starts browning, I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, y'all see the meat is browning. So let's go ahead now. And we're going to add in all of our dry ingredients. But we're going to add the garlic last, y'all. So let's go ahead and put the celery, the bell pepper, the bay leaves, and the onion. If y'all see these onions over and a bell pepper over here, that's going to go in the corn this time, y'all. Again, we'll add the garlic last because you know we don't want our garlic to overcook and become bitter in our uh, 
meat sauce. We want some good, wholesome goodness up in here, honey. And I love lots of celery. I love lots of onion and bell pepper for that matter. So y'all, we have that in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our brown seasoning. And if y'all remember, I like to start with a tablespoon of everything I use, except for the salt. I really don't measure. I do it by eye because that's how we was taught in the black folks kitchen. So y'all, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt because you need your salt. I'm gonna add, I'm only gonna do a half a tablespoon of the um, uh, beef bouillon, y'all. This is good in your pasta, I mean in your pasta sauce that is. With Goya, uh, all purpose adobe, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon. I love this stuff. Oh, I love it. We're gonna come in with the paprika. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, of course, y'all know I love my smoked paprika. Let's go. We're gonna use uh, oh, uh, a tablespoon. We're gonna come in with seasoned salt. Y'all know this is salt. I will only use a half of, well, I'll probably just use a teaspoon of this. Oh, y'all, it smells so good already. Then I'm gonna come in with my pepper. Y'all already know I, I'm heavy-handed. When it comes to black pepper, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of my black pepper, honey. Then y'all know I'm coming in with the onion powder at a, tea, at a, a tablespoon of onion powder and garlic powder. Y'all love this garlic powder. I can't say that enough. Ooh, child, that smells good. Can y'all see what's cooking up in there? Then I'm gonna come in with some oregano, y'all. Uh, with this oregano, I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna add at least a half of a tablespoon of oregano because you know in that sauce it also has oregano in it. But I want oregano cooked inside of my meat. I'm also coming in with a half a tablespoon of uh, Italian seasoning as well. Ooh. And then I'm gonna come in with a tablespoon of parsley. Then we're gonna give this a stir. It sure does smell good in here, y'all. Oh yes, honey. And it looks so good, y'all. Y'all see that good color in there? Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna turn this fire down to medium. Mm, that smells so good. I wish y'all could smell this through this screen, honey. Honey. That looks so good. I got to bring y'all in closer, honey. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, y'all, it smells so freaking good. As y'all can see, I ain't got too much oil in here. So, y'all, we'll let that simmer on down because I like to have my meat sauce to simmer a little bit because I do add my meat sauce and my pasta together. But first of all, I want to wipe this stove. I do not like all them seasoning on the stove. At all. Now in this pot, okay y'all. Now in this pot right here, we already have water. We're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil because that's why we're gonna add salt and then we're gonna add uh, the pasta herbs in that water uh, as well. And I think I have too much water, y'all. I'm gonna pour some of this water out of here. I don't want all that water. That's good. So we'll let this come to a ball. And then this pot back here, y'all, that's where we're gonna, I, I've already measured some butter. And here, uh, we're gonna go ahead 
and soften up these onion and bell pepper because uh, they are going in the corn. So I want to get them good and softened under a very low heat. Y'all, these little bendable trays work, honey. So we'll go ahead and add our garlic in the meat mixture as well. And we're going to cook these onion and bell pepper really low and slow, y'all, because I want them to get really, 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 really soft. But while they are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and add a little pepper uh, on top of that because I like the way that cooks down. Oh, y'all, this ground beef smells really, really good. Let's stir that garlic up in there. Ooh, honey. I don't want nothing blocking me. That smells good. So y'all, it really isn't probably any grease in here, so that's a good thing. It's just cooking on out. So y'all, in this meat sauce, I am going to add a can of undrained diced tomato. And I'm also going to add what else? Prego roasted garlic and herb. This is the only one that I use. Ooh, y'all, this meat smells good over here. And then our pasta is no other but Barilla thick pasta. So, honey, when that meat sauce is poured into that, that pasta, it's going to soak into that thick pasta. Oh, y'all, I cannot wait. I love, y'all already know I love potatoes and pasta. Y'all already know. I do. When you cook down onion and bell pepper and all that good stuff, it really, really has a great, great smell. So, y'all, when I pour my corn in that pot, uh, I'm going to only use one full can with the juice and the other can... I'm going to pour the juice off because I don't want all that juice in my corn when I cook my corn with the vegetables, y'all. So, y'all, let's go ahead and add in our undrained diced tomatoes. We'll let that cook for about three minutes. Get all that flavor married together. And then we'll go in with the pasta sauce. We will get a tasting spoon and we're going to taste it once it's all incorporated. And then we'll adjust our seasonings if we need to. Uh, very seldom do I need to adjust my seasonings because y'all already see how I season very heavily. So... We'll let that cook for about uh, three minutes, y'all. And I'll be back. Okay, y'all, this meat has cooked down. So we're going to go ahead and add in the pasta sauce. And then y'all already know what we do. We add just a little water to make sure we get all that goodness out of that jar. Not much water, y'all. You don't want no thin pasta sauce going over your spaghetti. I'm going to bring this down some. Let's get that incorporated in there. I do see some oil, y'all. I will get that oil off of there because, once again, I do not want any uh, oily pasta. A lot of people... I, I had a mother-in-law, after she got it to this point, she got the Crisco oil and she put a whole spoon like this full of oil in her spaghetti. And I'm like, are you trying to kill us? Like, really? Y'all, so I see that water boiling 
for the pasta, y'all. So we're going to get that pasta over there. But we're going to get this a, a little taste first. And uh, see if we have to adjust our seasonings. So here's my tasting spoon, y'all. Let's give that a... I don't want that whole piece of garlic. <laughs> so, y'all see that? I know it's smoking hot. But let me taste it. Mm-mm-mm. Don't need nothing. Damn, that's good. That really is good, y'all. So we're going to let this cook low and slow for about 15 minutes because now we got to work on the pasta. So come over here, y'all, to the pasta. Y'all see that old pot smoking over there? Woo, honey, yes it is. All right. So with this, uh, let me get a top for this pot, y'all, because I don't want that stuff popping on me. And I'm going to leave a little hole in it. Of course, we're going to add salt. And always salt your water with this pasta. Y'all want no plain ass pasta. And then, y'all, I will add in the herb. Oh, this is going to, oh, yeah, I wish y'all could smell it. Y'all want to smell it? Smell it. Ooh, honey, it smells. So look at all that goodness in there. I'm going to add about two tablespoons for that whole box of pasta. Oh, y'all, that is going to be so good. So we're going to do that, and then we'll add in the pasta. Ooh, y'all, that water smell good. I'm going to break up some of my pasta, and some pasta I'm not. Let me, first of all, let me get my fork for my pasta. I got so many things in this drawer. Oh baby, it is cooking. I'll break some. Oh, that water smells good. I like them long and I like them short, but you know, other things I like long or short and thick to a degree. So we'll get this in here and bring it back up to a ball. And we're gonna cook this pasta for how long, y'all? How long do you cook pasta? Mm, it smells so freaking good, though. Oh, yeah, about, about how much? Seven, 11 minutes? 11 minutes, that's right. Let's get it stirred up, though. And then we're going to get this time on. I don't like no overcooked pasta. Just it around in there, y'all, because you don't want your pasta stuff together either because you got long ones and you got short ones and they make it a little... E Ooh, y'all, it smell good here. It done cut off my talking. Y'all, we're going to bring this fire down and we're going to start this timer for 11 minutes. I wish y'all can see all this seasoning in this pot. It smells so good. I'm just trying to get them all incorporated, honey, and stir it around. And this is uh, just really cooking just the way I want it to. Y'all, this is going to be some good dinner. So let's let that, that pasta cook over there. The corn is coming to a boil, y'all. I would like for y'all to see this corn. So let me bring the corn before it starts to a full boil. And I'm going to cook this for about uh uh i can't let y'all see let me take that back this is the corn i'm gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes so all the bell pepper and butter and salt and pepper and sugar uh can get married together y'all this pasta i'm t i encourage y'all to get this uh pasta herb honey honey it just does something to this pasta and like I said the other day uh, y'all can uh, put the pasta uh, herb inside of your sauce but I tried it I did not like it I like it better on when it's boiled inside of the pasta y'all
Oh, this smells so freaking good. Uh, 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 uh. Are y'all watching football today, y'all? I remember I had to cut the TV down because, you know, they they uh, they uh, scolded me on, uh, they gave me a copyright on my video. They had the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, football game uh, in the back, on in the back. So it's on, it's on, my, my cowboys don't come on until um, 325, I think, today, y'all. So, yeah, 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 hey, hey, y'all already know I'm a happy girl, hey. So, y'all, I'll be back. I'm going to let, I'm going to come back when the pasta is done and the meat sauce has cooked. And we'll pour it in together and let them marry and let this corn cook down. Here, y'all, hey, 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 I'll be back. Peace. Hey y'all, I brought this pot up to y'all. Now y'all see how that seasoning soaked on these spaghettis and it just stuck? Can y'all see it? Honey, we about to go down. Come on y'all, let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Let's go back. Bring it up. This meat sauce has been going. So we are gonna let this cook. Well, it's been going for 11 minutes just as but it's been going. But now, y'all, because he cooked for 11 minutes while the pasta was cooking. And, um, but it was simmering a couple of minutes. Uh, I think I want to let my uh, meat sauce cook for about another five minutes. And we'll be back and then we'll incorporate them together, y'all, and get them married. And married. And married together. And married together. I'll be back, y'all, once again. All right, y'all, for the last round, here we go. Look at that goodness in this pot, honey. I went ahead and took the bay leaves out, y'all, because they have done what they needed to do. We're going to cut this fire off, and then we're about to incorporate this goodness in this pot with these very seasoned spaghetti. Oh, y'all got spaghetti sauce on the side of this pot. What the hell? We don't do that. No, no nastiness around our pot. All right, y'all. Here goes. Y'all watching? You looking? Look at that. I'm going to try to do it this way so y'all can see all that goodness going in that one pot of spaghetti. Look at that, y'all. Get all that goodness out of there. We ain't leaving nothing. You heard me? We'll get that in the water to be washed. Y'all come closer. Uh, you see the meat sauce is in here. We're going to get this. You know what? Matter of fact, I, I don't want that. I want to get uh, tongs because we want all that mixed up in there, y'all. That's a lot of meat sauce. That spaghetti gonna be good. I'm gonna let it sit in here and let it just marinate. Let this uh, pasta sauce uh, soak these spaghetti. Y'all see how good that look? Look at that. Make sure they all getting it, honey. I will be sharing this with my neighbor, or neighbors. I feed uh, two of them, y'all. So, there you have it. We're going to let that marry. We're going to get these washed as well. Honey, that is some goodness, baby. Look at that. So, we'll be eating it in a little while. I'll be back, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know somebody texting me, and it may be my man again. Hey, hey, hey. No, that's my best friend. Hey, hey, y'all. I'll see y'all later when we have our dinner. And we'll probably be eating some white bread with this because y'all know I love a spaghetti sandwich. So, deuces, loves. I love y'all, hustas. Goodbye. Y'all, you know what? <laughs> I had to come back. You know why? What good cook don't taste her food once it's done?
okay so the corn is done too y'all so i have to wait a minute and i told y'all buy already so look at my plate y'all we're gonna do a little taste testing that's the corn with the uh bell pepper and onion in it uh oh y'all even see it that's the corn with the bell pepper and onion and this is that good uh pasta y'all i don't know why i'm doing this that i just made look at that look how rich that look y'all mm -mm 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 -mm. yes lord we ready to taste it y'all it's hot so let's do it i know it's good y'all know i love louisiana hot sauce on top of my uh my pasta y'all look at that mm -mm 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 -mm. i'm ready Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all got to taste this. This is the richest pasta. Let's get a sausage on now. Y'all see why I like them to be cut small? Mm -mm. It fell. Look here, y'all. Y'all probably need to come and ring my doorbell. <laughs> Call me, though. Let me know you're coming. Y'all can definitely have some of this good stuff. Y'all see that big old pot I made? One more taste, y'all, then we're going to do the corn. But this is so good. Mm. 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 That pasta herb seasoning, honey, it does everything. That's that corn, y'all. Oh, I know it's going to be really hot. Mm. Mm. It's good and sweet. Mm. Mm. Now, mm. <laughs> this, this is so freaking good. Damn, I wish I can share it with y'all. Kind of really see her eating, laughing, talking, but y'all see, I can't stop eating her, but I have to. So let's say goodbye for the second time, y'all. I sure wish y'all would come and have dinner with me. I'll see y'all later. Bye.